Hi everyone, it's Four Corners, and I just finished watching Monkey Kid Season 3, so it's time I finally talk about it. I have to say, Monkey Kid is beyond words good in its latest season, but it took a while to get here. The pilot TV special that started it all was good as we got introduced to MK, the world they live in, his friends, and some villains. And in my opinion, it was definitely above average, considering they are pilot episodes and you can't expect much from any pilot episode of any series, generally speaking. Then there's season one, which takes a turn for a lighter tone, lots of comedy and seeds that are planted for the big overarching story. The season is really about giving Monkey Kid time to breathe and develop powers like duplicating, while other villains like Macaque, the Spider Queen, and Lady Bone Demon develop for other seasons at the same time. So I can't say this season is anything special on its own. The only thing I thought was notable was the redemption of the Bull family to stop the now possessed demon Bull King, which this whole blue spirit possession thing comes to play a big part later on. But overall, this season kind of felt like the sixth season of Monkey King. You know, they're kind of out of ideas and they're just playing it safe. At least it was funny though, so I can't say it was boring because I was usually laughing most of the time. Now, it's time for the good stuff. Revenge of the Spider Queen and Season 2 is when we start seeing glimpses of what Monkey Kid is really about. They start pausing on really sweet moments like this one with the kid and the king on New Year's. Come on, it's New Year's, bud. Let's watch the fireworks. Oh, uh, love to, but I really should get back to my... friends. Sure. And it's this season where the real motivation of our heroes is emphasized. The motivation for all our characters is how much they value each other's friendship. At surface level, that sounds so shallow, right? Oh, power of friendship, saving the day. But it's that innocence in our characters' motivations that make these guys so heartwarming to see. I especially love this one where Sandy almost breaks his oath because the spider villain goes a little too far. As long as I'm doing something to help out a friend, I don't mind what it is. I just want to be there for them when they need me. Uh-huh. Whatever you say, Blue. Because at the end of the day, helping my friends is more important than anything else in the world. The Spider Queen almost takes over the world until everyone including the Bull family teams up to beat her. Unlike the first season, Monkey Kid isn't afraid to slow down now and then for scenes where the Bull King finally accepts Red Sun as his son or Monkey Kid's inner turmoil of thinking he's not good enough. The season also brings in, my opinion, the best flashback episode in TV history. Now I'm going to put my favorite show being Ninjago on the spot here, but flashbacks in Ninjago while being interesting as their own story are kind of basic in the way they're told. In Seabon, Benthamar comes in, tells the story of Ojira for exposition, and we're done. But in this Monkey Kid episode titled Shadow Play, where Macaque, Monkey King's former evil student, explains why he is the way he is, that flashback plays right into Monkey Kid's feelings of abandonment at the moment, which moves his character and the exposition forward. The flashback isn't just entertaining information to be applied later, like in some Ninjago cases, but something that plays right into the story. Again, we have season 1 to thank for setting this episode up in the first place, like many others. Then there's the final battle of the season as the Lady Bone Demon, built up for many seasons, now finally reveals her full wrath. This actually takes me by surprise, but Monkey Kid in a daring feat actually loses. This scene was very heartbreaking to see as not only his physical power is broken, but also his mind that had been messed with so many times this season. It's sad to see this really happy guy feel so lost and powerless to save his friends. Again, the friendship theme turns up as Pigsy gets really mad at the king for abandoning him, even though the king was actually secretly trying to figure out more about the bone demon the whole time. It was clear now while the gang called each other friends, they were so much more than that. And it takes a bigger threat to bring that out because they're not just going to be heartfelt over each other for anything. It needs a big villain to really bring those characters out. I really love the whole father-son dynamic between Pigsy and the king. It becomes more and more clear throughout the show. Now it's time for the ultimate season being the third plus TV special titled Embrace Your Destiny. This one is not only Monkey Kid peak, but a general peak for the TV genre. I can't say any other show instigates as many happy tear moments as this one. There's shows that make you sad, you know, really powerful emotions, but I can't say so many shows are able to just make you smile and say, ah oh, man, this is, this is so good. 
You know those moments in season 2 that were sweet since they slowed down a bit? This season is completely made up of the best of that and it made my heart feel like it was exploding sometimes. Red Sun, who was a character I kind of found annoying up till now, actually gets a few clapworthy moments when our team gets stuck in the desert. He also plays a big role in helping Mei control the Samadhi fire, which was split into 4 parts a long time ago and is now needed to beat the Bone Demon. But that friendship these guys have, they're with each other till the end. It's so amazing to see even the ones without power like Pigsy or Tang do anything for the gang. As the gang searches for the three rings of Samadhi fire through a variety of adventures even going to space at one point, I really like the character dynamics there. The way the team interacts feels so real and genuinely funny, no question about that. And you know how earlier I mentioned how the theme of friendship is so simple yet so good? Well, they actually make that clear in the show. Once the Lady Bone Demon is defeated, she talks about her goal in making the universe happy. Monkey Kid tells her he doesn't think too much about it. He just needs his friends. And that is Monkey Kid. He doesn't think, and sometimes he literally can't. But the one thing he always understands is his love for the people close to him, which sets him straight. MK's real staff is the power of friendship. Thank you for watching a review on Monkey Kid. I really hope there's more to come, and if there's not, I'm very happy with the ending we got. And as usual, I'll see you in the next one. Bye bye.